Smoothstar make great trucks for surf skating. I love my Toledo 77 with the thruster system, but I'm not a huge fan of the deck. As you guys know, I love the Whitetail Whale Shark surf skate deck, but because of the offset of the axles on the Smoothstar design, it doesn't really work until now. The creator of the product has come up with a solution to this issue so we can start riding Smooth Star trucks on the Whitetail Whale Shark deck. All right, hey guys. So I'm here with Sophie, the founder of Whitetail Skateboards. And one of the things that I really love about the Whale Shark is the concave and the style of the board in that. The one drawback that it had was the wheelbase uh, at 17 inches wouldn't accommodate one of my favorite kind of trucks which is the smooth star thruster system so you need probably at least like 18 or 19 inch wheelbase for that sophie has come up with a product that's going to solve that dilemma <laughs> and she'll walk us through it right now so you can you can open it and i'll explain what comes in the box so here's the little remora i made so it's, um, it's a little piece that will come on the nose and uh, actually it, it just extend the, it extends the wheelbase possibility up to this one to up to uh, 19 inches and uh, it can be cut also if you need to keep your nose longer and it's pretty easy to install in the box it, it comes with a two-faced tape and a little guide. So I use the two-faced tape just for the, the, the moment to uh, install it. And you, you really should take it off after because it, then it gets really, really stuck in the, oh, in okay. the board. So you drill it and then you, you can take it off. So by installing it here, you get the exact place where the RMRA should be to keep the, the, the straight level all the way. And that's it. So you choose the, the, the wheelbase you want. Those, those holes are for the front. So right. you will have to figure out where the, the other ones are, the back ones. If you look at the setup here, that's going to be lined up exactly with how my Toledo is. Yeah, so I guess we'd use the, those ones. Yeah, if yeah. we went all it, the way it to the It would be perfect. Um, so it's going to be, the, the, the other hole will be approximately here. And when you don't want to, when you want to go back to other trucks, you just take it off. And, because it's not it it's not glued to the board. Right. It doesn't stay there. So. <laughs> so you can see there. Once that is equipped, I'm going to be able to set this up almost with the exact same wheelbase as the Toledo 77, which is one of my favorite boards to ride. So I'll be able to use my favorite deck with trucks that I really like that I consider in the the top tier of surf skate trucks. So we'll be able to really use the full um, range of different surf skate trucks using. My favorite deck. <laughs> Great invention, Sophie. <laughs> Thank you. All right, thanks for walking me through that. I'm glad. I'm glad. I hope you like it. <laughs> so I was incredibly nervous about this part because I am probably the least handy person you've ever met in your life. Um, building that quarter pipe was a really big accomplishment for me because I'm pretty good at messing these things up. So dr drilling these holes into my new deck was a little bit nerve wracking, but the system that Sophie created with the guide um, worked perfectly, ended up getting holes that were perfectly aligned and worked on the first go. So uh, if I can do this, anybody can do it. One little trick that you can see I'm using here that Sophie told me about is if you use a riser or a couple risers, that'll help to make sure that you're drilling straight down instead of uh, getting your drill going on an angle.
All right, we got the holes drilled, so now I just have to throw on the Smooth Star Thruster trucks with the remora and see how it works. First thing, took it to the pump track, and as expected, the board was just fantastic here. Uh, the Smooth Star trucks work really well for that carvey flow, and on a pump track, they work very well. You can see here I use the end of the pump track here, kind of like a wave bank, and so much fun. Next step was to take it over to the bowl and tried some barefoot surfing here. And again, the Smooth Star trucks are designed as surf trainers. So if you're looking for that surfy feel, trying to, you know, pretend that you're inside a wave, uh, they work really well for that. And using the Remora with the Whale Shark deck, even barefoot here, my foot felt super locked in, felt really comfortable. I didn't have to shift my stance at all. Uh, I could get down low, could hug the wall as well and the wheelbase felt the same as with the Toledo um, with this adaptation so using the familiar deck that I was used to the remora just made it work so well with the smooth star thruster um, perfect for me or for a taller rider who might be looking to use a different set of trucks but want a bigger wheelbase than the the 16.75 that the whale shark comes stock and finally, for good measure, I took it over to the street section so I could do some stuff that Smooth Star definitely don't approve of, like wall rides, like grinds. And again, just the deck works so well. Uh, the shape is perfect for doing kind of more hybrid skateboarding type moves. And when you combine it with the smoothness of the Smooth Star thruster trucks, it just makes a perfect combination. So. If you guys were interested in a whale shark deck, but like Smooth Star Trucks, this is the technology that allows it to work for you. So if you had interest in the Whitetail Whale Shark deck, but are a taller rider, or were looking for a truck system that requires a, a bigger wheelbase, um, then the Remora is an amazing invention that allows you to do that, to customize it, to get up to, I think, 18.75 inch wheelbase on the Whitetail Whale Shark deck. You lose a little bit of the nose, so if you're interested in doing nollies, not that there's many other people doing that, you will lose that, but it just works fantastic. Um, I tried it here with the Smooth Star and really impressed with the performance. So. Um, I'm also going to throw up a link there to get you a little discount if you're interested in purchasing any Whitetail merchandise. So check that out, and thanks again for watching, guys. We'll be back with some more video reviews and tutorials in the near future.